Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do uh, one question that was asked in 2008 of NCA level 3 calculus paper or on integration. So let's read the question. A symmetrical plant pot has a circular base radius A. So this is a circular base of radius A centimeters. A circular top, this is the top, radius B centimeters and a straight sloping side. So this is a straight sloping side. Use integration to find the volume of the pot in terms of A, B, and H. Now, so let me draw two axes. So this is uh, this is this is the y axis. Okay, and this is your x axis. Okay, and this is I'm saying this is my x axis and this is my y axis, and this is the origin O. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this point, I hope you understand is A comma 0 and this point is, this is B across and this point is H. So this point can be said as B comma H. I want to find the equation of this line. Now, why do I need the equation of this line? To explain the example, what are we going to do? We are going to imagine if you rotate this line over this axis y, the volume resulted because of that revolution, and that's called volume of revolution. When you rotate this line over the y axis, the volume that you get would be the volume of this uh, plant pot. But to explain that, let me draw a super thin rectangle. Okay, so imagine, imagine this is a small part of that line. Okay, this super thin part of the line. If you look here, I hope you understand is your dy. Okay, and this length is your x. And when you're rotating this rectangle, super thin rectangle over your y-axis, you will get a disk. Okay, let me draw a disk. You have to understand the intuition behind. Uh, this is, say, disk. I, I'm trying to draw in a 3D form. So imagine this is the, the disk that you get. Okay. So my drawing is not that good. So imagine this is a 3D disk that you can see. Okay, so what we are saying is, this is your radius, which is your x, and this is your thickness, okay? So you can understand the volume of a disk, suppose imagine a CD disk, okay? Imagine this is a CD disk, and much, much thinner than the CD disk that you have seen, okay? Super thin. So the volume of this disk is the area of this cross-section times the thickness, <laughs> okay? So we can say volume of this disk would be pi, so this, your thickness in our case would become dy. So this is your thickness, okay, that's dy, and this is your radius. And the area of the circle we know is pi r squared, and your r is x, so I can say pi x squared times the thickness, which is dy. So that's the volume of one disk, okay. This is the volume of this one super thin arbitrary disk. I think this is not drawn to scale. So what we are arguing or what we are saying is, if we can add all the super thin disk from 0 to h, there will be infinite disk from 0 to h. That is, you integrate from 0 to h. So the volume of this cylinder, or sorry, this part, would be the integration from 0 to h of pi x squared dy. Okay, so this, this is the intuition behind what we are going to do. So first, we need to find the equation of this line in terms of y, and then we'll have to write this, change that into x, because we're going to integrate with respect to y. Okay, so we have to find this x uh, in terms of x. Okay, so that is... Okay, a preview of what we are going to do. Okay, so if you <coughs> drop, 
if you draw a line okay I'm going very slowly so that you understand suppose let me draw this let me draw a right angle triangle okay so yeah can you understand so this is uh, let me again draw from year to year so this is now from point A to B say so this is your point A this is your point A and this is the point B so I want to find the gradient of this line so that is gradient M is rise over run so this is your H this is your rise which is H and your run is B so <coughs> the distance from year to year is B and the distance from year to year is A so this is B minus A so that's your run so gradient is rise over run which is H over B minus A which implies equation of equation of line AB line AB I'm going to write down let me scroll up a little so Y is equal to HX over B minus A plus C now I have used which formula you should be knowing Y is equal to MX plus C which is most popular okay where M is the gradient and C is the Y intercept and that's how I wrote C and this is your M now I have to put to get to C to get the value of C I have to substitute I can say on this line you have got this point and I can say now when X is X is A Y is 0 okay on this line you got a point A which has a coordinate of A comma 0 so I can say <coughs> my X is A and my Y is 0 so let me let us put this back into this equation so I can say 0 is equal to HX over B minus A sorry it will be H <coughs> mm. I keep using a big eraser so so now what do we write now x is equal to a and y is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to h times a over b minus a plus c which implies c would be minus h a or a h over b minus a therefore I can write y is equal to h x over b minus a minus my c is this minus h a over b minus a i want to write this in terms of x x and y form because i want this in x so from here you can understand um, uh, so you can write y is equal to h x you've got the common denominator minus h a over b minus a i'm going all crooked so y is uh, cross multiplying can I write y times b minus a plus h a is equal to h x I hope you understand this step okay so let me change color so this is now I'm going to divide all by h therefore x is equal to Mm, what can I write can I write this as uh, if I divide this by H you have B minus A times Y over H and when you divide by H this will be cancelled is equal to A or plus A so this is in terms of Y so in terms of X and Y so I can I write X squared is B minus A squared times y squared over h squared plus 2a times b minus a over h plus a squared but I need so now what what did we write now volume of the cylinder that we want is integrating from 0 to h of uh, pi x squared dy that was what we wrote that's that's what we wrote here so I'm going to take the pi out and substitute the value of x okay so let me delete this okay 
Do I have like okay I don't know okay so let us go back now so this is equal to volume is equal to pi times 0 to h of x squared x squared is b minus a squared times y squared over x squared plus uh, we had to write here y here. When you square this, you get a y here. Okay, so this will become plus 2a times b minus a times y over h plus a squared dy. Okay, a squared dy. Now you have to integrate with respect to y, so an a, b, and h are constants. Okay, so they will remain as it is, and you have to integrate y. So when you're integrating with respect to y, I hope you know the simple integration of y squared. So integrating y squared, you'll have y cubed over 3. So that will be pi times b minus a, the whole squared, times y cubed over 3x squared. Plus, when you're integrating y, you'll have y squared over 2. And that 2 will cancel here. So I'll only write a times b minus a times y squared over h. The 2 that comes here and you get cancelled, so I'm cancel that. And when integrating a constant, you'll get 2a squared y from 0 to h. We're almost there. So volume is equal to pi. Now what you have to do is you have to put this value into this and then take away the 0 here. So in place of y, I'm going to put h. So this will become b minus a squared times h cubed over 3x squared plus a times b minus a times h squared over h plus a h. And when you put a 0 here, this will become 0, this will become 0, and this will become 0. So that is nothing but 0. So Simplifying this, y's volume is equal to pi times, so this x squared, h, one h will remain here, so, and you can factor out a h here. So let me write one more step. So that is b minus a squared h over 3 plus a times b minus a times h plus, you have got a squared here, plus a squared h. And you can factor out an h, so v is equal to pi h times b minus a squared over 3 plus a times b minus a plus a squared. So we're almost there. And so vo finally, volume is equal to pi h times, I'll leave this as it is, b minus a squared over 3. And let me expand this. So this is a b minus a squared plus a squared and this and this will get cancelled so finally volume is equal to pi h times b minus a squared over 3 plus a b now one neat thing about nc exams is you can get the marking uh, schedule from the internet so what i've done is i've pasted copied and pasted the equation this is the final answer and if you get till here, you get excellent. So let us confirm. So pi h times b minus a squared over 3 plus a b. So let us, let me confirm. And that's what we got. Pi h times b minus a squared over 3 plus a b. So this will give you an excellent score. Okay. And you should be really be proud if you get that. See you in the next video.